Adobe just released a video announcing some new AI stuff coming to Premiere. And I gotta say, this is extremely impressive. Once these features will be released, Premiere will be the king of editing software once again. Can you believe that? So, they introduced Generative AI, which is powered by Adobe Firefly. We already know Generative Fill in Photoshop. You can use it to remove certain objects in your picture, or you can replace stuff. I mean, you can get really creative with this. Oh, and by the way, I'll leave a link to Photoshop Basics in the description. Now, Generative AI in Premiere will allow you to add or change objects in your videos, just like Generative Fill. This is incredible. I mean, you'll be able to make a selection in your video, type in whatever you want to generate, and poof, Firefly will do anything for you. There's no need for blending, tracking, compositing, or animating anymore. This will save you a lot of time. But I'm wondering, does this mean that video editors are gonna replace the visual effects artists? I mean, once they release this, we don't need After Effects as much as we need it now. Hmm, interesting question. Let me know if you think AI will replace us one day. So, Adobe also showcased AI-based smart masking. You can literally delete elements in your video in seconds. It means you can do whatever you want. For example, your video background. The possibilities are endless. Now, Adobe is not the only company who uses AI to enhance their products. Audio has a tool called Link Match. You can literally drop a link to a famous song from Spotify, YouTube, doesn't matter, and Link Match finds thousands of similar songs that you can use copyright free in your videos. This is mind blowing, and I'm using it in almost every video I make. Audio is actually sponsoring this video. Thank you so much. You can also search for music by using the filters, which is time-saving as well. Now, all the music in Audio's library is made by music producers, who create music specifically for content creators. So all of your music will easily fit in your videos. You don't have that with generic stock music. Same thing for sound effects. These are super easy to find by, again, using the categories. You can actually get the Audio Pro Plan, which has music, sound effects, and link match for 70% off by using the code Premier Basics. Link down below. The next AI feature is gonna blow your mind even more. You already know the remix tool. You can use it to artificially extend a song. What if this is possible? In video. Well, buckle up, because Generative Extend is coming to Premiere. If your video is too short, you will be able to extend it, and Premiere will then generate extra video for you. This is mind-blowing, but that's not all. You will be able to generate B-roll on top of your videos. I mean, if this works well, you can create high-quality videos in minutes, which is, of course, also a bad thing, because that's gonna raise the bar even more. Now, this is all very impressive, and I have so much respect for the people working on this. I really can't wait to test it out for myself. However, I'm not sure if it's the right time to release something this powerful inside Premiere. Not because we're irresponsible, necessarily, but because I honestly think that Premiere is too unstable. It has way too many bugs, and I'm just a little scared that this AI stuff is gonna make things worse. Don't get me wrong, all of this stuff is amazing, and I love Adobe for that. But I think they first need to fix the simple things in Premiere that we need every day, but are not working. Premiere is not crashing as much as it was a few years ago, that's a fact. But it still happens. For example, sometimes when you use the crop effect, or when you're masking, you can't zoom in on your video too much, because if you do, the program monitor will turn black and Premiere will crash. Also, masking in Premiere Premiere is still super painful. Even for small and simple masks, I use After Effects because I don't want to risk Premiere crashing. Also, they're adding generative AI that will do tracking and all sorts of awesome stuff, but we still don't have a basic tracking feature in Premiere. Also, the transform effect is a simple effect, but it's painful to use. I mean, we all know the scale bug. It's been there for ages. Also, why is there no option to enable motion blur or increase the shutter angle in the motion properties? I mean, this list goes on and on, but I'm just wondering, they're doing all of this fancy AI stuff, which again is awesome, but they can't fix a couple of issues that have been in Premiere for ages. Well, that kind of pisses me off, because I think, especially with these AI features coming up, Premiere can easily be the best editing software on the market. Now, that being said, I actually found a fix for five annoying things in Premiere, and you can learn everything about that in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.